let's wire up the IMU. See, I've already soldered the header onto the device. These are female to female 2.54 millimeter ends, jumper wires. Typically they're used like on Arduinos and stuff. Just want to wire those up. Just tore a few of them off. Red here on VCC. Uh, black for the ground. And my clock is going to be white. Then the data is gray. SDL. Should be good to go there. We'll plug these female ends into some simple machine pin wires. Let's go put those on the Jetson first. The way that the pin numbering works is there are actually two headers here. This is a 2x25 and this is a 3x25. Lower right hand corner is pin 1, pin 2, pin 3. And four, etc. So the ground that we want to go to is pin 14. So you count over one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fourteen. Sixteen is three point three volts. Pin 18 is the SCL the clock. And pin 20 is the data line SDL. So now we're ready to wire up the IMU to the Jetson. This is pin 14. It goes to the ground, which is the black wire. Pin 16 is 3.3 volts. And the clock is pin 18 goes on the white wire and pin 20 is the data SDL and it is the gray wire so we're all hooked up let's hook the Jetson up to some power and test it out hooked up the Jetson let's see if our little IMU works do is run this little test program. You have to run this with sudo so you can access the ITC bus. data from the IMU. 23.2 degrees in here. Let's see. So you can see now that when I move it, the orientation actually does change. It looks like we hooked it up. Okay.
So next, it's off to calibration. Yeah.